Halloween is less than a month away, and whether or not you are planning on trick-or-treating, no one can stop you from wearing a super awesome costume. But what should you wear? Most people just wear a costume and it sits around for another few years until they throw it away or get rid of it somehow. Today, I'm going to be going over 20 amazing Halloween costume ideas that are simple and zero waste. This is a collaboration video with The Simple Environmentalist. She has some really cool videos, so I'll link her channel below. Go check her out, she's amazing. On her channel, you can also find the other half of this list. So if you wanna find out all 20, you can go to her channel too. But my top 10 picks are right here, right now. Let's go. So at number one, we have a Visco girl. I know this isn't the most original costume idea, but it's a simple one anyone can do. All you need is a scrunchie, an oversized t-shirt, short shorts, and a water bottle. I drew a big Hydro Flask logo on my water bottle. If you already have a Hydro Flask, great, use that. But if not, don't go buying one, just use what you already have. This is a really good one to do with a group of friends. Some ways you can enhance this costume is by writing Visco Girl quotes all over yourself, like skskks or my favorite, Save the Turtles. The next idea is to be a zero waster. This one is basic. All you have to do is wear some non-branded clothing and nothing extra. Then take an empty jar and carry it around with you. You can also take any other zero waste essentials you already have and feel free to carry them around with you too. Number three, you could be a chef or a waiter. For this one, all you need is an apron and then depending on whichever route you take, you can add a chef's hat, a notepad, and pencil, pot, and pan, spoon, or spatula. Really just anything you use in the kitchen. Next, you could be Mother Earth, Crazy Plant Lady, or Mother Nature. I wasn't sure what to call this one, but this one you can do really with any nature. And here where I live, the leaves are in the process of turning, so they're super pretty and definitely worth taking advantage of. To do this, I literally just threw on a dark green shirt and because I didn't have one, I stole my mom's. Don't tell her, because I didn't want to buy a new one. I went outside, picked a few flowers that were still mostly alive, put them in my hair and went about my day. I also put a few leaves on me. Here, I'm literally sitting in my garden. But other add-ons to this costume could include a straw hat, a holdable, carryable plant, watering spout, you can hold your candy while you're retreating with that, and any other nature you'd like to include. Or you could be a crazy cat lady. For this one, I simply wore black, so all of my cat fur would show up very well on my outfit. Then I cut out cats from products I already had, such as the lid to my cat's food or a calendar I had of cats. Yes, I used trash for costumes. I then used some paper tape to stick all the little cutouts to me and voila, pretty epic. Then I held my cat, let her crawl all over me, and I looked like a pretty crazy cat lady. For number six, I think that's what we're on, you can be Greta Thunberg or really any activist. For this one, I simply threw on a hoodie, braided my hair, classic Greta, and copied Greta's very well-known sign. And because I didn't want to make any waste at all, I used a dry erase board. But really, feel free to use paper. I was just a little lazy to go grab some. Number seven, you could be a ninja. For this one, I just wore all black and I took a long sleeve shirt and tied it around my head. That's it, it's pretty simple. Or you could be a plumber. This one, again, is super simple. All you need to do is carry a plunger around with you. Wear whatever you'd like. I'm wearing all black because I didn't feel like changing out of the previous costumes. You could enhance this costume with some overalls or a tool belt or a fanny pack, whatever you'd like. Number nine, you could be a musician. This costume, again, is very simple and easy. You can wear whatever you'd like and simply carry around anything you already have. This could be an instrument, sheet music, a microphone, or just a case for your instrument. If you're trying to impersonate a specific musician, then that might help determine what style you're gonna wear. Otherwise, just wear whatever you like. Lastly, you can be a photographer. For this final one, you can yet again wear whatever you would like. To do this, just carry around a camera. 
that's it. If you don't have a camera, do not go buy one. Don't waste your money. There are plenty of DIY cameras, prop cameras, uh, out on YouTube videos to make one. And I'll link a few below so that you can figure out how to make one if you want to go about doing this costume. You could also make any other filmmaker props. If you didn't like any of these, here are a few other ideas that you can do with some creativity, of course. You could be an old lady or man, you could be a Greek god or goddess, goth or punk kid, a hippie, care bear, men in black, Rosie the Riveter, minions, black cat, ice cream cone, party animals, or a scuba diver. Again, don't forget to check out the Simple Environmentalist linked below. If you didn't like any of my ideas, go check out hers. Hers are really cool too. And until next time, peace.